New tonight, a trio of suspects behind bars following an armed robbery in Dover. The details straight ahead. Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Brandon Bossert. 47 ABC News at 10 on the CW starts right now. We begin with a shooting in Dover that has left one dead and now police are investigating. The shooting taking place on Ann Avenue just before nine last night. Officers who arrived on scene found two victims, a 42 year old and a 59 year old man, both with gunshot wounds to the upper body. They were rushed to the hospital where the 42 year old victim died from his injuries. The other victim is in stable condition at this time. There are no leads in the investigation. Dover police are asking anyone with information to call the police department at 302-736-7130. Meanwhile, three suspects are behind bars following an armed robbery earlier this week. Abdul Latif Fadipe, Jasona Haith, and Joshua Harris were taken into custody for their alleged involvement. Police say the victim was entering her home at the White Oaks condos with her children when she was approached by four suspects. Now those suspects allegedly assaulted her and stole her purse and the cash it held before leaving the scene in separate vehicles. Fadipe, Haith and Harris are all facing assault, robbery and child endangerment charges. Now the fourth suspect remains unidentified at this time. Thank you, Rich. Maryland Governor Wes Moore has announced revitalization program funding awards to promote economic development and job production. 47 ABC's Jack Fitchner has the details. If it generates jobs and tax dollars, it's good for Salisbury. It's good for the county. It's good for the region. The future Salisbury Market Center aims to allow the downtown area to continue to grow by adding... Now, both Mayor Taylor and Chambers say they're excited to see redevelopment of the downtown area as a priority. And now it's time for Fugitive Friday. These individuals are presumed innocent until proven guilty by a court of law. The Worcester County Sheriff's Office is looking for the following individuals. Chantel Ruffin, wanted for transporting unstamped cigarettes and possession charges. Next, James Bennis, wanted for theft, burglary, reckless endangerment, disorderly conduct, violation of probation, and assault. Then, Mary Woodward, wanted for failure to pay deferred payment and drug charges. And finally, Robert Young, wanted on several CDS charges. If you know where any of these individuals are, contact the Worcester County Sheriff's Office at 410-632-1111. And to see more wanted individuals across Delmarva, log on to 47abc.com and click Fugitive Friday. You can even submit tips on any suspects you see anonymously. Meanwhile, local high schools empowering students to put their health first with a valuable resource right on campus. 47 ABC's Layla Wea has the story. Wicomico High School is ensuring health in our own backyard. WMDT. Now, parents must sign consent forms before their student can visit the center. Dr. Blake urges parents to take a look at those forms and sign them so their child can be helped if needed. Uh, meanwhile, nearly half of Americans lack emergency supplies and 44% don't even have a basic first aid kit in the house. That's according to the CDC. Now, the Wicomico County Health Department says those kits are crucial in any crisis. So it's important to check which materials may be inside of them. Public Health Emergency Planner Jack Orris also says it's important to know the difference between the kits. He says a first aid kit is for basic medical care, while an emergency preparedness kit helps you survive and stay safe during disasters. You're not going to find your gallons of water that's in an emergency kit in a first aid kit generally. And to get more information on how to best build uh, the kits possible, visit the Wicomico County Health Department website. And coming up, the mother of a six-year-old boy who shot his teacher has been sentenced. And a major pre-holiday storm threatening to disrupt travel plans for millions of Americans. We'll tell you all about it when we come back. You're watching 47 ABC News at 10 on the CW, because local matters. 